Cantor's Deli on Fairfax isn't simply a restaurant, it's an institution. And if you've lived in or visited Los Angeles long enough, you've eaten here. In a city that historically has few late night dining options, Cantor's neon sign has been buzzing bright seven days a week for 85 years. Finding a restaurant in the middle of the night is difficult, but you can always count on canners. Time goes fast. I can't believe it myself. I made it 10 years, and now it's 50 years. For four generations, we've just been feeding people good food, Jewish-style food, good recipes. After the clubs get out, it's just somewhere to come before you go home. The late night crowd at Canners is uh, full of everything from Dodger fans to hippies. You get crazy homeless people. Mick Jagger was in not too long ago. But before I go on this Jewish odyssey, we need to establish the five Ps. The pastrami, the pickles, the pastry, the pint, and at this hour, the performance. I've eaten deli a million times, but I've never been on a slicer, so how do you work one of these things? The trick before the slicer is the pastrami. What makes our pastrami so special is because we boil it for two hours, we steam it for an additional six hours. Wow. If you try to cheat the process, mm -hmm. you're gonna get tough pastrami. We keep the pastrami in the steamer here. Go ahead and grab it and put it in the machine. It smells delicious. It's an automatic machine, so you turn it on. Oh my gosh, look at that. And you can set the speed. You guys have been doing this for 85 years. I'm third generation, we're a fourth generation deli already. And I have seen Cantors in a lot of movies and TV shows. Last year we were in Entourage and, and uh, Mad Men and President Obama came here. Everybody wants to be where it's fun and this is a fun place to be. Okay, so there's the meat you cut. So All right. Go ahead and put that on the bread. This is some tender meat. That's really tender. Wow. That's going to make a good sandwich. That's how they should be. Mm. Fix it up a little bit. This is fresh double baked rye bread. Yeah. How many pastrami sandwiches do you think you guys have made in 85 years? My guess is, you know, maybe a half a million, maybe yeah. a million. I believe that. Comes with a cup of coleslaw and the house-made pickle. Wow, those pickles look amazing. And down a flight of stairs, there are more than just a few. It smells so good down here. Hey, Adrena, here's where we keep the pickling spices. This is the main ingredient. Look at that, the dill, chili peppers. So Bella's waiting for us inside. She's got a nice juicy pickle for you to try. Oh, let's let's go. Out. Hi. Hi. How would you like to try one of our pickles? I would love to. Wow, these are so juicy. Yeah, they're really good. They're mm. fresh right out of the barrel. Well, these are delicious, and I'm going to need a few of these. OK, we'll pack you a jar. Please. And what's a perfect pickle and pastrami sandwich without a pastry? Let me guess, you guys made all these in-house as well? They're all made right upstairs in our own bakery. That is amazing. I don't even know what to choose, there's so many. You gotta go with the chocolate chip burgula. They're really good, they're made with the cream cheese dough. All right, I'll go with the chocolate. And the perfect pint to wash it all down. Yes, now you're talking my language. But first, I need to try this sandwich. <laughs> The meat is so tender and so flavorful. You just need a little bit of mustard and you're good to go. It's perfect. Your taste buds go crazy. Well, thank you so much. Tonight has been so much fun. Well, it's not over yet. We got a great performance here in the Kibbutz Room. Kid Bloom, they're a great band. You're really gonna like it. An extension of the restaurant, the Kibbutz Room, holds live performances nightly. And like the word kibbutz, it's a place to chat or gossip. Or in our case, watch Alex Cantor, the manager of this establishment, take the stage. And like the restaurant, this stage has seen its fair share of history. From Slash to the Red Hot Chili Peppers gracing this space, you really never know who's going to show up. So it's time for a cheers. Cheers to Kid Bloom and Cantors. And a show.